Hello everyone, Chris with Crosscut Crafters here. Sorry it's been a while since I brought a video to you, but you know how 2020 is. Uh, let me tell you about tonight's video. Kitty bloopers. <laughs> you want to be in the video menu? No? Sorry about that. So, as some of you know, some of you don't know, I recently had to move. Uh, it's cheaper to live with family during this pandemic BS than trying to make it on my own. As part of this, I've had to go through all the clothes that I own. That's the pile that I still have left to do. Well, as part of going through all my clothes, I found the warmest jacket that I own. Problem is, I need to make a little repair to it. I'm going to show you a leather craft skill that can be done on any kind of material, not just leather, to repair the issue with the jacket. Let's check it out. This is the jacket in question, and the issue is these little shoulder straps, they're called epaulets. They're supposed to be attached, and yet they're not. I'm going to use an arbor press to set some button snaps with the help of my wonderful assistant, Minion. Minion, you know I'm not paying you for this, right? Cat's gonna cat. Let's go get started. Okay, for this project, I'm gonna need the appropriately sized anvils, the bottom half of the bottom snaps, the top half of the top snaps, the studs for each snap, the appropriately sized punch down tools, and because I don't feel like doing this with a hammer, the arbor press. All right, here's the epaulet. It's already got a little pretty fake button on it. Got to remove it by pulling this off. But as you can see, now there's a pre-made hole in the epaulet. That's what I have made a leather washer for. This will go to help fill up the hole, make sure that it doesn't pull through. And in the event it can slide and move, I'll just super glue that down and that'll prevent it from coming out. So now on my arbor press, I'll set the anvil down, set the top stud in the proper hole, feed the epaulet through it, place my leather washer over it, place the back of the top over it, Grab the appropriate tool, put that into the stud, and now with even pressure, now as I'm doing this, mind you, I'm pressing this down with my ring finger back there. I bring the arbor press down, just where it meets the tool. And then I'll compress it. And there you go. One piece of one half done. Now to repeat that process on the other epaulet. For the next part of the process, I need to put a hole in the shoulder of the jacket to put the bottom half of the snap in. I'm going to do this by first finding out where it needs to be, marking it, and then punching the hole. 
Like I say, this video wasn't really planned, so I should have gotten a silver Sharpie. But the black should show up good enough just to get this done. Looking at the other end, I could see that the epaulet is centered on the seam. So that's where I'm going to center my snap. So I know it needs to be about a finger's width in from where my finger is there. So I'm just going to mark it. Yeah, you can't see that at all on camera, but I could see it. So be right back. I'm gonna do the other side. This jacket does have a removable liner, so I've made sure to get between the liner and the shell with the anvil of this punch. I'll get lined up on my spot and then do the punch. I'm going to work it back and forth a few times. That way I could try to make sure it punches all the way through. Yep, that hole should be good enough. I can make sure by taking the bottom stud and sticking it through. And now we're through. Okay, the next part is going to be a little difficult to get lined up on the arbor press, so let me tell you what I'm going to do now, and then just show you while, I, while not trying to explain it. I'm going to take the smaller anvil. It's got a concave side and a flat side. I'll place the, the flat side up on the arbor press, so it will be under this stud. I'll take the base of the snap, put it on, and then using the correct size tool, I will flare that stud out to hold it in place. And just like that, that stud's installed. It's not going anywhere. Take the epaulet, snap it in, and now it's attached. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Well, just like that, in about five minutes, I was able to repair a jacket that had an obvious defect into something that I can now wear out in public again. All of the materials and equipment used in today's video will be listed in the description below, as well as on peachoidmediagroup.com. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give us a thumbs down. See you next time. Is there a minion bump? There's a minion bump. Minion! Meow meow.